Well, my name's um, Karen Temple and I am head of the Academic Unit of Human Development and Health and the Institute of Developmental Sciences is a very important part of that academic unit within the Faculty of Medicine. So um, my research is really about the genetics and the epigenetics of human developmental disorders. So I'm a clinician and as such I see patients who have um, often quite serious developmental disorders. Um, I've spent time trying to investigate and really understand why um, some children are born with developmental issues that um, have come out of the blue and no one understood what the cause was. And in particular, I've been um, investigating patients with a type of growth disorder that are called imprinting disorders. And these children can be born very small, they can get diabetes very early on. And we've understood, the, we've learned how to, why it's being caused and uh, what the underlying genetic mechanisms are. Yes, well, we work a lot with lots of different types of uh, researchers. So um, really, we, we look at patients and try and understand what's happened in real life. And then we go to the basic scientific researchers at the IDS and try and understand more about the mechanism, about how you might intervene, about understanding why it's happened. And, um, that, in that sort of collaboration, it's been very, very fruitful to um, understand, for example, how we create a diagnostic test because we then we understand the mechanism. But we also collaborate a lot in Europe and are part of an, a European network of scientists and clinicians who are involved in uh, understanding more about these congenital imprinting disorders. And we've just, for example, got the world consensus in how you treat certain categories of patients with these types of diseases uh, optimally and so that's been very important. Um, we are involved um, not only in regular um, clinical care but also in setting up infrastructure that really leads us into the future and one of those um, new initiatives that I've led um, is the Wessex, um, the Wessex Genome Medicine Centre. So that's an NHS centre with very close ties to the Faculty of Medicine um, where we are offering patients the opportunity to have their complete genome tested. But um, of course what that means is because we've never been able to sequence genomes at this sort of level before, um, we don't understand what most of it uh, still signifies in terms of health and so of course there are many research questions that lead directly into research programs here in the Institute of Developmental Sciences. In the Genome Medicine Centre we develop lots of ways of interacting, lots of games, lots of um, ways in which we can uh, talk to people about having their genome tested and so for example at the hospital open day that we had this weekend we had a stall where we invited um, members of the public to find out more about having their genome tested we had, and had games and various things that they were involved in so that's the sort of you know we, we try and engage in, in many different ways really. Well of course we've got so much to learn about really the basic science that underpins um, both our health as humans but also disease processes and so uh, what I hope is that the Institute of Developmental Sciences is going to build on what it's done up to now and take us forward into the next century um, with the, with the uh, strategy that if we can understand the biology we're going to have a much better uh, and more precise way of working out the right interventions to improve health.